right friends welcome back to the last module of uh, 28th week this is on easy money policies adopted by central banks of developed countries and if you look at these central banks all of you are well aware federal reserve is the central bank of uh, united states of america then the european central bank is uh, for eurozone bank of japan is the central bank of uh, japan then bank of england is the central bank of united kingdom and all of you are well aware reserve bank of india is our central bank and if you look at the monetary policy for a country like india there are primarily three aspects one is reserve ratios policy rates then open market operations the main purpose of this monetary policy is to control the circulation of money that means with these tools the circulation of money in the system can be controlled by reducing the crr and slr money circulation can be increased and at the same time by reducing repo rate then what will happen credit flow will increase that means money circulation will also increase by reducing the repo rate that means by reducing the repo rate then what will happen the credit outflow from banks and financial institutions will increase that means uh, in this process the money in circulation will increase and uh, open market operations are buying and selling of bonds if the central bank buys bonds then what will happen money circulation will increase so these are the normal tools of a central bank uh, to ensure monetary policy and if you look at our cash reserve ratio 4% then repo rate is 6.5% and, and reverse repo rate is 6%. Please listen to carefully. Our reverse repo rate is 6%. That means if the commercial banks are saving money with the central bank, central bank will pay 6% interest rate. And repo rate is 6.5%. That is the benchmark interest rate based on which the overall interest rate structure will depend in the banking system. And... If you look at the monetary policies across the world, in recent times, for the past 7-8 years, especially after 2008 financial crisis, what they are doing? Let us have a glance at the easy money policies adopted by the developed countries. One is the quantitative easing. Several advanced economies quite often resorting to quantitative easing. What is meant by quantitative easing? Quantitative easing is purchasing government securities every month by announcing in advance central banks are resorting to purchasing government bonds from market because of which what is being happened lot of money is being available in circulation and because of more money available in circulation it is resulting in reduction in interest rates by increase of money supply and if you look at the other tool that is the central banks are keeping interest rates abysmally low for longer durations some of the central banks are keeping benchmark interest rates as low as 0.25% to 0.5% and because of which lot of credit flow is expected. That means more credit flow is expected when the benchmark interest rates are kept very low and for the past several years advanced economies are keeping interest rates abysmally low with a view to have more credit flow. And having not satisfied with that, that means in spite of keeping the benchmark interest rate low, credit flow is not taking place. Then what they started? They started negative interest rate policies. Some of the central banks, I have given logos of four central banks here. Not all of them are doing only for the example sake I have given the logos of four central banks and some of the central banks are resorting to negative interest rate policies. What will happen in negative interest rate policies when commercial banks are parking money with the central banks commercial banks have to pay in return that is known as negative interest rate when commercial banks are parking their extra money with the central banks, then commercial banks have to pay for parking money with central banks. That is a negative interest rate. And this is being employed in periods of deflation. That means in some of the countries, 
very low inflation or sometimes deflation is taking place hence this negative interest rate policies are being employed by some of the central banks and all of you are well aware in the periods of deflation companies are not interested in investments so as to come out of this problem some of the central banks are resorting to negative interest rate policies and because of which the cost of borrowings for companies will be abysmally low ultimately the interest rate structure will be abysmally low and because of negative interest rate policies banks are forced to lend right and not satisfied even with this now people are talking about a helicopter money this helicopter money the word was coined long back around 40 years ago by the nobel laureate famous economist fredman subsequently former chair of federal reserve ben bernanke brought this word into focus this is helicopter money that means central banks well resort to printing more currency when more currency is printed then what will happen lot of money will come into circulation and more currency is printed for monetization of certain parts of debt several countries have got a lot of public debt and through printing of currency the central banks will monetize the debt that means the debt burden will be reduced with the printing of currency and these are all easy money policies adopted by central banks in recent times and in spite of these easy money policies some of the countries are not able to come out of recession and some of the countries are reeling under low growth rates actually these type of easy money policies of keeping interest rates abysmally low are leading to problems in emerging economies because of easy money policies a lot of money is flowing into emerging economies which is resulting in asset bubbles and when the money is withdrawn suddenly then it is leading to crashing of the stock markets in emerging economies so these are called spillover effects as raghuram rajan time and often commenting about in spite of these easy money policies the countries are not growing where is the problem if you look at the problem low population growth in advanced economies and faster increase in grey population is one of the reason second reason is the drastic increase in government debts in recent times in western countries then third important point is a shift of manufacturing as well as jobs to low cost destinations like china india and other asian countries several software jobs shifted to india and similarly manufacturing shifted to china car manufacturing shifted to korea and japan like that shifting of jobs is taking place and lot of grey population demography is not favorable in advanced economies and several countries spent excessively by taking debt so these are all the reasons for having a low growth rates in advanced economies but their easy money policies are sometimes creating trouble in developing countries or emerging economies so it is high time to think over by the advanced countries before formulating their monetary policies right friends with this let us conclude this week's capsules have a nice day thank you